Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports. And today, I want to talk about the NBA. We have officially signed a contract tonight. That is the largest co coaching contract in NBA history. What I want to talk about is who signed that deal, where he signed to coach, and what this means for that team moving forward. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, according to multiple reports, Monty Williams is on his way to Detroit. Williams and the Pistons have agreed to a six-year, $78.5 million contract that is the largest coaching contract in NBA history. Now, Monty Williams has been extremely successful with the Phoenix Suns over the last four years. Uh, he was it took the Suns franchise into a championship caliber team, but in a year where they had high expectations in his fourth season, acquired a guy like Kevin Durant, they decided to move on from Monty Williams, which put him on the market. Now, I did think the Bucks and the Sixers were realistic options for him. Obviously, after those two went in a different direction, that left Detroit able to go after him and if Detroit was going to attract a coach like this, it was certainly going to require them spending some money. I mean, the Detroit Pistons have been, let's just be honest here, terrible, you know, nearly this past decade. I mean, they've gone seven straight seasons finishing under 500. Their last winning season was in 2015-2016. Um, their last head coach, Dwayne Casey, who stepped down to go into a front office role, was extremely successful with the Toronto Raptors before leaving for Detroit in his couple seasons with the Pistons. He finished with a 121 and 263 record, which is a 31 and a half percent win percentage. So Monty Williams is certainly not coaching a team that was similar to the one he was coaching with the Phoenix Suns. Now, when you look at some of the talent coming back to Detroit, they do obviously have some uh, quality young talent. Cade Cunningham is one of the better point young point guards in the NBA. There, he's obviously what's looked at right now as the face of the Detroit Pistons. Um, they've had uh, some more recent early draft picks, Jaden Ivey, uh, Jalen Duran, Isaiah Stewart, uh, Marvin Bagley they acquired in a trade, Game, uh, James Wiseman they acquired in a trade, they gave uh, an extension last year to Bojan Bogdanovic who they acquired in a deal with the Utah Jazz and they also have the number five overall pick so while the Detroit Pistons have been struggling over the last couple seasons, they have done a good job adding talent into the organization through the draft trades. And we'll see if they can spend some money here uh, in free agency. They do have some uh, contract agreement or some options they have on contracts coming up. And we'll see how they do spending money in free agency. So obviously, when you looked at Monty Williams, he was one of the popular names on the coaching market and obviously was deserving of a very large contract. Now, uh, when he, in 2021, he was named NBA Coach of the Year. He had a 62.8 win percentage when with the Phoenix Suns. Um, he led them to the NBA Finals in a franchise record 64 wins. Monty's been one of the best coaches in the NBA since he took over as the head coach of the Phoenix Suns. I mean, for the Detroit Pistons standpoint, they hit this absolutely out of the park. You know, they wanted to add a real head coach to take a step forward, not so much discount Dwayne Casey here, but they needed someone who can really take this next team to the next level. He did it on a Phoenix Suns team that wasn't the most successful before he got there. Yes, had the young talent, made some huge trades once he became the head coach, but they're hoping that he can do that here with the organization. Now, do I think he is deserving of being the highest paid coach ever? Um, no, but it sets the market, which I think is great for coaches overall. I mean, Monty Williams is a great coach, one of the elite coaches of the NBA. Uh, if he wanted to go to Detroit, they had to pay him. Outside of Cade Cunningham, there aren't many young players that are really blowing you away on this roster. Yes, uh, they have some other young talent, but it's not exactly the best situation right now for coaches.
Detroit needed a head coach. Monty Williams was looking to make some serious money. They gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. So I think Detroit's very smart for doing this. Because Detroit has not been a good basketball team lately. They're in a tough division with, you know, a team like Milwaukee that's obviously going to be there at the top, but Chicago's not hitting in that direction. We'll see what we get out of Indiana. Cleveland's nasty. But they had to make a move to become a relevant team in the Eastern Conference. You want to do that? Get a real coach. You have him in Monty Williams. You paid for it. But it should pay off here for the Detroit Pistons. Want to become relevant again? These are the moves you have to make if you want to get there. Again, Monty Williams, six years and $78.5 million. What do you think of this deal between the Detroit Pistons and Monty Williams? Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.